Hi guys, welcome to this session of 100 one liners. So if I'm audible and visible, please send your thumbs up in the chat box. Okay, yes guys, it's helpful for FMG also, so let's start. <clears throat> now tell me, what is the most common cause of bloody nipple discharge? It's a question for you people. Most common cause of bloody nipple discharge? I'm waiting for your reply. Most common cause of bloody nipple discharge? Sakshi, Parvez, yes. <clears throat> Duct papilloma, very good. Swatantra Verma, first person to reply. Rameshwar Nayak, Pankhudi, Chandni. Yes, majority of you are correct. It is duct papilloma. So most common cause of bloody nipple discharge, this is duct papilloma. Okay, you can read the questions and you can send the reply. Pure de orange, it is due to involvement of which particular structure? Pure de orange, it is due to involvement of which particular structure? Tell me guys, pure de orange. <clears throat> pure de orange, it is due to involvement of what? Subdermal lymphatics. It is due to involvement of sub dermal lymphatics very good subdermal lymphatics subdermal lymphatics yes majority of you are correct manjari singh dr monica shrutri shivastos neelam parvez khan dr ishika all of you are correct next question what is the most common site of metastasis most common site of metastasis in carcinoma breast and in carcinoma prostate tell me in carcinoma breast and carcinoma prostate what is the most common site of metastasis very good lumbar vertebra all of you are correct it is lumbar vertebra this is lumbar vertebra next question what is the most common organism responsible for breast abscess tell me guys very good shreshtha medical doctor priyanka priyanka yes very good chandni majority of you are correct most common organism responsible for breast abscess, it is Staph aureus. This is Staph aureus. What is the cause? It is seen in lactating females and there is cracked nipple or trauma around the nipple. And what happens? Staph aureus is there in the skin which is responsible for the abscess. Next question. What is the treatment of choice for cystosarcoma phyllodes? <coughs> Pankhudi, very good Pankhudi. Most common sorry treatment of choice for cystosarcoma phyllodes yes ishita very good it is simple mastectomy what it is simple mastectomy because it is type of sarcoma and in sarcomas there is no lymph node metastasis that's why what is sufficient it is simple mastectomy okay next <clears throat> tell me what is most common solitary thyroid nodule very good madhvi Nishay, Kamini, Goel, Firoz, Mansuri, all of you are correct. Tell me, what is the most common solitary thyroid nodule? Tell me, guys. Most common solitary thyroid nodule. Yes, 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 we will provide everything, don't worry. Tell me first, most common solitary thyroid nodule. Nobody replied correctly till now. No, no, no. Yes, goiter. Which type of goiter? Tell me, guys. Which type of goiter? First person to reply, Muhammad Atif. Muhammad Atif. It is colloid goiter. This is colloid goiter. Followed by follicular adenoma. It's the colloid goiter followed by follicular adenoma. Now you can reply to the second question. <coughs> follicular adenoma. Tell me, what is the most common location of thyroglossal cyst? Most common location of thyroglossal cyst, correct Neelam Bhatia, <coughs> Tanushri, first person to reply, Chandni, Chandni Kesarwani. So most common location of thyroglossal cyst, it is subhyoid. Most common location, this is subhyoid. Next, what is the incision given for retrosternal goiter? To remove retrosternal goiter, what is the incision given? <coughs> yes, Navdeep, you are correct. Tamanna, Patidar, correct. Priyakshi, correct. Tell me, cervical incision. Yes, majority of you are correct. We give cervical incision. Very good. Incision given, given for retrosternal goiter. This is cervical incision. Cervical incision. Next, easy question. What is the autoantibody in Hashimoto's thyroiditis? 
first person budding medico <coughs> budding medico first person to reply that is anti tpo anti tpo that is the auto antibody what is the full form of tpo all of you know it is thyroid peroxidase so this is thyroid peroxidase let me tell you guys there will be series of 100 liners of most of the subjects so for these updates for everything you subscribe to our channel yes it will be very very helpful subscribe to our channel of prep ladder next very important question orphan any i nuclei are seen in already you people replied all of you are correct it is papillary carcinoma <coughs> this is papillary carcinoma after that most commonly injured nerve during thyroidectomy let me see who is going to reply this question correctly first person i'm waiting first person yes you people are so fast it is some meena very good <clears throat> most commonly injured nerve during thyroidectomy it is not recurrent laryngeal nerve it is the external branch of superior laryngeal nerve so this is external branch external branch of superior laryngeal nerve next question this was asked many times in aims and inict intra operative thyrotoxic crisis is caused by intra operative yes g2 meena g2 meena two times he marked the answer correctly and for the first time intra operative thyrotoxic crisis it is caused by inadequate pre operative preparation so what is the cause this is inadequate this is inadequate pre operative preparation inadequate pre operative preparation clear very good guys most of you are marking the correct answer now you tell me what is the most common cause of primary hyperparathyroidism let me see who is going to reply this question correctly most common cause of primary hyperparathyroidism yes shrimai patil very good very good it is solitary adenoma parathyroid adenoma so what happens it is parathyroid adenoma and usually it's a solitary adenoma solitary adenoma which is located in inferior parathyroid which parathyroid inferior parathyroid now another question what is the most accurate modality for localization of parathyroid adenoma waiting for your reply <coughs> most accurate modality for localization tell me guys sista me b scan chandni chandni keshavani first person to reply this is sista me b scan this is sista me b scan this is sista me b scan okay next what is the best test for diagnosis of pheochromocytoma let me see who is going to reply to this particular question for the first time <clears throat> okay fastest reply i'm waiting who is going to reply correctly yes very good very good yes it is very good fractionated plasma metanephrins some of you replied it is fractionated plasma metanephrins best test that is fractionated it is fractionated plasma metanephrins <coughs> plasma metanephrins and if the question is what is the investigation of choice for diagnosis of pheochromocytoma that is 24 hours urinary catecholamines and vma so read the question carefully it is the best test and best test is fractionated plasma metanephrins very good what is the most common site of metastasis it's a question in older children having neuroblastoma let me see who's going to reply very good dr monica first person to reply very good bones which bones tell me monica most common site of metastasis in older children having neuroblastoma which bones long bones yes narcissus prime long bones it is the long bones long bones next tell me what is the most common functional pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor in men one multiple endocrine neoplasia yes let me see who's going to reply correctly for fastest first person to reply it is let me see it is first person to reply so many people you people are so fast the correct answer is what it is gastrinoma gastrinoma followed by insulinoma this is gastrinoma followed by insulinoma 
clear most common functional pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor in men one now see next diagnosis of amoebic liver abscess is confirmed by tell me diagnosis of amoebic liver abscess <coughs> It is confirmed by diagnosis of amoebic liver abscess. Yes, not ultrasound. It is not ultrasound. No, not ultrasound. Yes, first person to reply. Let me see. First person is Mohit Bansal. Serology. Very good. So, serology by Eliza. It is serology. This is serology by Eliza. Next question. Most preferred method for anatomically and surgically appropriate hydrated cyst. Most preferred method for treatment of anatomic, anatomically and surgically appropriate hydrated cyst. Let me see who is going to reply for the first time. Who is going to reply it fastest? First person to reply. All of you are replying correctly. It is pair. Pair. This is puncture, aspiration of content, installation of scolicidal agent and re-aspiration. Now, easiest question guys. Tell me what is the most common malignancy of liver. Let me see the fastest person. <clears throat> most common malignancy of liver yes arpan chakraborty first person to reply it is secondaries this is secondaries or metastasis secondaries or metastasis next question benign liver tumor with central steelite scar and spoke wheel appearance central steelite scar and spoke wheel appearance yes chirag gohel very good yes Patil, Srimay Patil, all of you are correct. It is FNH. Focal nodular hyperplasia. There is central steelite scar and there is spoke wheel appearance. Next, very, very important. Asked in pathology as well as in surgery. Integrated question. Liver tumor with raised neurotensin and B12 binding globulin. Tell me. <coughs> Ramya Senthil, very good. Very good, Ramya. Ramya Tulsi Subramanian, yes. Neurotensin and B12 binding globulin, these are raised in fibrolamular variant of HCC. These are raised in fibrolamular variant. <coughs> fibrolamular variant of HCC. Now tell me guys, what is the investigation of choice for diagnosis of hepatoblastoma? Let me see who is the fastest person. Investigation of choice for diagnosis of hepatoblastoma. Tripathi, very good Tripathi, first person to reply, it is Tripathi, yes, Pankaj Tripathi, I hope. So, see guys, it is biopsy, let me tell you, in majority of liver tumors, the investigation of choice is CCT, exception hemangioma, where it is MRI, but if pediatric liver tumor is there, hepatoblastoma is pediatric liver tumor, here, for confirmation, we have to go for biopsy. So, radiological investigation of choice is CCT, investigation of choice for diagnosis, it is biopsy. So, investigation of choice for diagnosis, that is biopsy. Clear guys? Now, next question, liver segment which is spared in Budd-Chiari syndrome caused by hepatic vein thrombosis. Easiest question, let me see who is going to reply. <coughs> Yes, Nishya Ghonge, Nishya Ghonge, first person to reply, very good, very good. <coughs> so, correct answer is caudate lobe, caudate lobe is spared and why caudate lobe is spared, you know, because caudate lobe, venous drainage goes directly into IVC. So, its venous drainage is going directly into IVC and in Bertiari syndrome, if there is obstruction, there is hepatic vein thrombosis, this segment is spared. Next question, tell me. CBI, creatinine, bilirubin, INR. CBI are the component of which score? Let me see who is going to reply. <coughs> CBI, creatinine, bilirubin, INR. Yes, Tulsi Subramanian again. Again, he is the fastest person. It is MELD score, model for end stage liver disease. This is MELD score, model for end stage liver disease. Next question. We are going to insert Sengstek and Blakemore tube. During transportation, if patient is having variceal bleeding, so what is the most common complication of insertion of Seng's taken Blakemore tube? Let me see who is going to reply. <clears throat> this is not perforation. Yes, Deepak, Deepak Sahu, since stomach is full, patient is in state of shock, you are trying to insert a big bulky tube. It is aspiration. The most common complication is aspiration and that's why what should be protected Airway should be protected. Clear guys? Tell me, what is the most common complication of TIPS? 
ट्रांसजुगुलर इंट्राहेपैटिक पोर्टोसिस्टेमिक शंट टेल मी गाइज जी तू यू आर करेक्ट मोस्ट कॉमन कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ टिप्स ट्रांसजुगुलर इंट्राहेपैटिक पोर्टोसिस्टेमिक शंट यस मेड्स कॉर्नर फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई इंकेफेलोपैथी एंड यू नो दिस इंकेफेलोपैथी इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ अमोनिया Incephalopathy. It is because of ammonia. Very good. Preferred vein for insertion of peritoneal vena shunt. Question of aims. Preferred vein for insertion of peritoneal vena shunt. In which vein this shunt is inserted? Tell me. I'm waiting for your reply, guys. Preferred vein. Yes. Muhammad Atif. You are correct, Muhammad Atif. It is right internal jugular vein. we are going to insert it in right internal jugular vein followed by superior vena cava next what is the most common cause of can you see pre sinusoidal intrahepatic portal hypertension pre sinusoidal intrahepatic portal hypertension tell me guys most common cause waiting for your reply preeti Preeti Devi, first person to reply correctly, cystosomiasis. This is cystosomiasis. Cystosomiasis. Okay. Now see, guys. <clears throat> Next, cholesterol gallstones are made up of. This is the question of NEET PG. Latest question. Cholesterol gallstones are made up of. Composition of cholesterol gallstone. Tell me. Waiting for your reply, guys. Tell me. Cholesterol gallstones composition. I am telling you, it is cholesterol. Yes, cholesterol monohydrate. Very good. It is crystalline cholesterol monohydrate. So what is this? This is crystalline. This is crystalline cholesterol monohydrate. This is crystalline cholesterol monohydrate. Monohydrate. Okay. Now tell me, guys, what is the most common type of gallstone? Cholesterol black, brown, or mixed? cholesterol black brown or mixed most common type of gallstone cholesterol black brown or mixed mixed it is mixed very good if mixed is not given in the option then go for cholesterol mixed is not given in the option then go for cholesterol what is the gold standard investigation gold standard investigation for diagnosis of acute cholecystitis yes gold standard i am waiting for your reply gold standard not ultrasound No CT. Hida, who replied Hida for the first time? Let me check. You people are so fast; it's very difficult to find. Majority of you are replying correctly. It is Hida. Hepatobiliary immuno diacetic acid scan. Hepatobiliary immuno diacetic acid scan. Next question: What is the most common site of fistula in gallstone ileus? Gallstone ileus. Tell me most common fistula between gallbladder and duodenum. Tell me the name. most common fistula waiting for the reply yes ankush agarwal first person this is cholecysto duodenal most common fistula that is cholecysto it is cholecysto duodenal this is cholecysto duodenal clear next very important question asked in aims diamond ring sign comet tail artifacts on ultrasound is seen in diamond ring sign comet tail artifacts diamond ring sign comet tail artifacts tell me guys diamond ring sign comet tail artifacts <coughs> yes adenomyomatosis you people are correct it is adenomyomatosis that is adenomyomatosis this is adenomyomatosis clear so that is adenomyomatosis clear guys Okay. <clears throat> Now, next question: Number of regional lymph nodes involved in carcinoma gallbladder N1. Regional lymph node involved in N1, N1 and N2. These are the two stages. Tell me, in N1, how many lymph nodes? No, no, not six. Let me see who is the genius. Yes, range. Deepak Sahu, first person to reply correctly. In N1, there is involvement of one to three lymph nodes. In N1, one to three lymph nodes. And in N two, there is involvement of four or more lymph node. N one, one two three, 
in N2 4 or more. Next question, which organ is having maximum absorptive capacity per unit surface area? Organ having maximum absorptive capacity per unit surface area. Tell me guys. First person to reply, yes, Shrimai Patil. Very good Shrimai Patil. It is gallbladder. It is not jejunum. And if the question is asked, only maximum absorptive capacity, it is in jejunum. Maximum absorptive capacity in jejunum, maximum absorptive capacity per unit surface area, it is seen in gallbladder. Very good. Next, tell me, what is the most common type of cholidocal cyst? <coughs> Which type? You know one simple principle, if classification starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, most common is type 1. And if classification starts from A, B, C, D, E, most common type is type A. Clear? So tell me, most common type of cholidocal cyst, all of you are correct. Obviously, it's type 1. It's type 1. Now, 1 is further divided into 1A, 1B, 1C. Use your common sense and tell me, which one is most common? 1A, 1B, 1C. Which one? Tell me guys, simple logic, simple clue, 1A, 1B, 1C, which one? Most common. No, 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 it's 1A. I told you already that if classification starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, usually most common type is 1. If it starts from A, B, C, D, E, most common type is A. So it is 1A. Next, next question. Maximum size of CBD stone removed by ERCP. Maximum size of CBD stone removed by ERCP. Tell me. Maximum size, yes, Nishi PK, Nishi PK, first person to reply correctly, 1.5 centimeter. Next question, Reynolds Pentard, it is charcoal striate plus, charcoal striate plus, Reynolds Pentard, charcoal striate in cholangitis, it is charcoal striate plus, shock, Chani Keshwani, Chani Keshwani, shock and altered mental status. So it is shock plus altered mental status. Shock plus altered mental status. Okay. According to Bismuth classification, tell me Hyler structure with intact confluence. Hyler structure with intact confluence. According to Bismuth classification, which type? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which type? Chani, again Chani, you are correct. Rishabh Dikshit, you are correct, it is type 3. And if it is destroyed confluence, it is type 4. So intact confluence, type 3. Next question, prune tree appearance on cholangiography, it is seen in which condition? Tell me guys, prune tree appearance on cholangiography, <coughs> prune tree appearance, waiting for your reply. No, no, it's not. Pushpendra, Pushpendra Singh, very good, it is primary sclerosing cholangitis, primary sclerosing cholangitis. Next question, there is only one condition where pruritus precedes jaundice. In which case pruritus precedes jaundice? Yes, very good, very good. It is primary biliary cirrhosis. Pruritus precedes jaundice in primary biliary cirrhosis. Next, Hyler cholangiocarcinoma, what is the other name? <coughs> All of you are correct. Very good guys. Hyler cholangiocarcinoma. Hyler cholangiocarcinoma, what is the name? Carolis disease, very bad. Muhammad Faizan, very good. It is clad skin tumor. This is clad skin tumor. It is clad skin tumor. You know that the most common site of cholangiocarcinoma, it is hilum, and hyler cholangiocarcinoma is known as clad skin tumor. Next question, tell me, what is the most common congenital anomaly of pancreas? Pancreas, you know the answer. <coughs> Most common congenital anomaly of pancreas. Tell me guys, <coughs> you know the answer. Pancreas, answer is hidden. Pancreas, <coughs> this is very good. It is pancreas divism. This is pancreas divism in which there is divided drainage. Divided drainage. Next question, treatment of choice for annular pancreas. It is duodeno duodenostomy or duodeno jejunostomy. DD or DJ. <coughs> Tell me guys, it is DD, duodeno duodenostomy or duodeno jejunostomy? DD or DJ? Yes, majority of you are correct. It is DD followed by DJ. Even in duodenal atresia, treatment of choice is duodeno duodenostomy and you know, in superior mesenteric artery syndrome, it is duodeno jejunostomy. 
superior mesenteric artery syndrome it is duodenal jejunostomy next very very important question most common cause of death in acute pancreatitis within two weeks of hospitalization within two weeks of hospitalization waiting for your reply guys tell me very good nishay ghonge nishay ghonge very good this is modes multi organ dysfunction syndrome multi organ dysfunction syndrome and if death occurs after two weeks of hospitalization it is because of sepsis next what is the investigation of choice for diagnosis of acute pancreatitis tell me investigation of choice for diagnosis of acute pancreatitis it is clinical or it is cct <clears throat> cct very good monica it is cct cct next question in bishop score bedside index for severity of acute pancreatitis blood urea nitrogen level should be how much level of blood urea nitrogen how much tell me guys how much should be blood urea nitrogen level tell me <coughs> yes gotham jihari 25 obviously it should be more than 25 mg per deciliter more than 25 mg per deciliter sirs systemic inflammatory response syndrome what should be the heart rate heart rate in systemic inflammatory response syndrome heart rate should be more than more than first person to reply yes mahender i think more than 90 more than 90 per minute very good <coughs> sorry next q sofa quick sequential organ failure assessment respiratory rate should be more than equal to in q sofa respiratory rate should be more than equal to very good anupam sonu it is more than equal to 22 per minute more than equal to 22 per minute systolic blood pressure should be less than equal to 100 mmhg and there should be altered mental status next question gold standard investigation for chronic pancreatitis chronic pancreatitis gold standard investigation tell me guys chronic pancreatitis no no ashif it is mrcp mrcp is investigation of choice i'm asking gold standard majority of you are correct which is diagnostic and therapeutic it is ercp which investigation is diagnostic and therapeutic that is ercp clear majority of you are correct next tell me central sunburst calcification on cct central sunburst calcification central sunburst calcification let me see who is going to reply central sunburst calcification on cct yes which neoplasm yes serous meet patel first person to reply correctly it is serous cystic neoplasm also known as serous cyst adenoma serous cystic neoplasm also known as serous cyst adenoma next in which type of cystic neoplasm both amylase and cea are raised both amylase and cea are raised in which type of cystic neoplasm not serous not serous not mucinous yes it is sonu gupta first person to reply correctly ipmn intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm since it's a pre malignant condition there is increased cea there is increased amylase why because of excessive mucin production there is acute pancreatitis next most common genetic mutation in carcinoma pancreas tell me guys in carcinoma pancreas most common genetic mutation tell me guys <coughs> kras priyanka yadav very good it is kras followed by p16 so this is kras followed by p16 very good next waxing and waning of jaundice with malina it is seen in which patients waxing and waning of jaundice with malina seen in which patients tell me very good periampullary carcinoma which type yes dr rk you are correct it is ampullary carcinoma in periampullary which type it is seen in ampullary carcinoma this is in ampullary carcinoma okay next what is the most common complication of pancreatico duodenectomy frequently asked question most common complication of pancreatico duodenectomy tell me guys pancreatico duodenectomy most common complication means after whipple's procedure not leak not leak not leak 
Let me see who is going to reply correctly. Delayed gastric emptying, Muhammad Mahatab Alam. Very good, Muhammad Mahatab. It is delayed gastric emptying. This is delayed gastric emptying. Next, gold standard investigation for diagnosis of insulinoma. Insulinoma, increased insul insulin, decreased glucose. Gold standard investigation. Yes, for diagnosis of insulinoma. 72 hours fasting, Neelam Bhatia. Very good. It is 72 hours fasting. 72 hours fasting. Very good, Neelam Bhatia. Yes, next, most common site of gastrinoma. Tell me, gastrinoma, what is the most common site? Most common site of gastrinoma. Let me see. No, no, Pasaro triangle. I am asking, yes, duodenum. Very good. Majority of you are correct. It is duodenum followed by pancreas. And you know which part of duodenum? It is first part of duodenum. Which part? First part followed by second part followed by third part. It is not seen in fourth part. Next, what is the most common symptom of glucagonoma? You will not hear this symptom again. Tell me. Guys, tell me. Most common symptom of glucagonoma. Shruti. Tell me. Shruti. <coughs> yes. This symptom you will not hear again. Dermatitis. Which dermatitis? What is the exact name of the symptom? Yes. What is the exact name? Nobody replied till now. Exact name of the symptom. This is, yes, it is nobody replied till now. It is necrolytic edema migrans, in short known as NEM. This is necrolytic edema migrans. Necrolytic edema migrans, NEM. You know that glucagonoma is also known as 4D, 4D syndrome. Next question, what is the location of defect? Defect in boctalic hernia. Where is the defect in boctalic hernia? Tell me guys. Boctalic hernia. <coughs> yes. Posterior lateral. Which side? Right side or left side? Which side? Right side or left side? Very good. It is left posterior lateral. This is left posterior lateral. Very good. It is left posterior lateral. Very good. What is the investigation of choice for diagnosis of GERD? Gastro GERD. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, yes, all of you are correct. This is 24 hours pH monitoring. This is 24 hours pH monitoring. Very good, guys. Next, bird beak appearance, all of you know, pencil tip appearance on barium swallow is seen in which condition? Bird beak, pencil tip, achalasia cardia, very good. Achalasia, sharma, very good. It is achalasia cardia. This is achalasia cardia, very nice. Corkscrew appearance, rosary bead appearance on barium swallow. Corkscrew, rosary bead. Yes, DES, Deepak, Deepak first person to reply. Diffuse esophageal spasm. This is diffuse esophageal spasm. Tell me, let me see who is going to reply. Most common symptom of Zenker's diverticulum. Zenker's diverticulum, most common symptom. <coughs> yes, most common symptom. Waiting for your reply. Not regurgitation. Dysphagia. Very good. It is dysphagia. Somebody replied correctly. It is dysphagia. Next question. Investigation of choice for staging of carcinoma, esophagus carcinoma stomach. You know, in GIT, staging is dependent on T staging. It's dependent on depth of penetration. So tell me, investigation of choice for staging. Not biopsy, endoscopic ultrasound. Very good. Investigation of choice for diagnosis is endoscopy with biopsy. Staging, it is endoscopic ultrasound in both esophagus as well as carcinoma stomach. <coughs> Next question. <coughs> Best conduit after esophagectomy for carcinoma esophagus. If you perform esophagectomy, after that you have to apply or use some alternative channel. Best conduit. Sharma. Shweta Sharma. Very good. Harshita, Monica, all of you are correct. It is what? Stomach. Best conduit, that is stomach. Next question, guys, tell me. Macler's triad, it is positive in. Macler's triad, it is positive in. Tell me. Macler's triad, <coughs> it is positive in. Borhav, Srinmay Patil, very good. It is seen in 
spontaneous esophageal perforation which is also known as Borhaav syndrome. This is what Borhaav syndrome, very good guys. Next, what is the treatment of choice for chronic or intractable duodenal ulcer? All of you are correct, very good. Chronic or intractable duodenal ulcer, treatment of choice. <clears throat> Waiting for your reply, PPI, no, no, it is not PPI, not PPI, some vagotomy, highly selective vagotomy, Mahatab Alam, very good Mahatab, it is highly selective vagotomy, very good. Most common metabolic complication after gastrectomy, metabolic complication after gastrectomy, most common metabolic complication, let me see who is going to reply correctly, not B12, you are close, iron deficiency anemia. Malay Patel, Malay, very good Malay, it is iron deficiency anemia. This is iron deficiency anemia. Next question, according to forest classification, non-bleeding visible vessel is which type? <coughs> non-bleeding visible vessel is which type? According to forest classification, which type? Type 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, yes. Swatantra Verma, it is type 2A. Non-bleeding visible vessel, this is type 2A, very good. What is the most common artery responsible for bleeding in mallory V syndrome? In mallory V syndrome, most common artery responsible for bleeding, let me see who is going to reply. Not gastroduodenal, yes, medha, medha jain, very good medha, it is left gastric artery. This is left gastric artery, it is left gastric artery. Next. Investigation of choice for diagnosis of watermelon stomach, which is also known as GAVE, gastric antral vascular ectasia. So, investigation of choice for diagnosis of watermelon stomach, very good, very good, endoscopy plus, endoscopy plus biopsy, very good. It is endoscopy plus biopsy. Next, most common root of spread in Krukenberg tumor, tell me. It is transylomic or retrograde lymphatic. Most common root of spread in Krukenberg tumor. Not hematogenous. No, no, no. No. Very good. It is retrograde lymphatic. Initially, it was said that it is transylomic, but nowadays it is said that it is retrograde lymphatic spread. This is retrograde lymphatic spread. Next, drug of choice for unresectable, just tell me. <clears throat> what is the first line agent for unresectable gist? Imatinib, very good, very good. <clears throat> Next, what is the characteristic dyselectrolytemia in infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis? Yes, infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis, characteristic dyselectrolytemia. So, what happens there is hypochloremia, hypochloremia, hypokalemia, hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis, hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis and in severe cases there is paradoxical aciduria, <clears throat> there is paradoxical aciduria, majority of you are correct, this question is asked almost every year, hypochloremia, hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis plus paradoxical aciduria, very good. Next, what is the most common site of stress ulcer or stress gastritis? Let me see who is going to reply correctly. Most common site of stress ulcer or stress gastritis? Obviously, it is in stomach. Which part of stomach? Stomach. Which part of stomach? Yes. Which part of stomach? Fundus. Very good. It is fundus. Most common site is fundus followed by body followed by antrum followed by pylorus. So, it is stomach followed by duodenum, most common site fundus. What is the diagnostic criteria for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis? SBP, how much should be the neutrophils? Number of neutrophils, how much? On paracentesis neutrophils, how much? More than 250, very good guys. And how many bacteria? Monomicrobial growth or polymicrobial? It is monomicrobial or polymicrobial. This is monomicrobial. This is question of neat PG. There is monomicrobial growth. 
clear next what is the treatment of choice for perforation peritonitis you have seen the question there is gas under right dome of diaphragm if there is perforation we have to resuscitate the patient after resuscitating we have to take the patient for we have to take the patient for laparotomy very good so first <clears throat> we have to resuscitate the patient iv fluids followed by exploratory laparotomy IV fluids followed by exploratory laparotomy. Last year in NEET PG, this question was asked. Most common site of intraperitoneal abscess. Intraperitoneal abscess. Most common site. Yes, it is pelvis. Two questions are there. See, if patient is in the recumbent position or in lying down position, then it's hepatomorison pouch. If patient is ambulatory, it is pelvis. And overall, if nothing is mentioned, what is the correct answer? It is pelvis. Tell me, what is the name of triad for mesentric cyst? Name of triad for mesentric cyst. Tell me, guys. Name of triad. Triad. Name of triad for mesentric tilox. Very good, Medha. Medha Patel. Tilox triad. It is Tilox triad. This is Tilox triad. Very good, guys. Next, most common cause of large bowel obstruction. Tell me, it is adhesions or malignancy. Most common cause of large bowel obstruction. Waiting for your reply. Large bowel. Okay, I will write full form also. Very good. Most common cause of large bowel obstruction, malignancy or adhesions. It is malignancy. Most common cause. It is malignancy. In small bowel obstruction, most common cause it is adhesions. Small bowel obstruction, it is adhesions. Large bowel obstruction, it is malignancy. Tell me, claw sign and coiled spring sign on barium enema, it is seen in. Claw sign and coiled spring sign in barium enema. Into susception, Ankur, very good Ankur Saha, everybody is correct. It is into susception. This is into susception. Coil spring sign, claw sign. Next, coffee bean sign, bent inner tube on x-ray. Coffee bean sign, bent inner tube on x-ray. It is seen in which condition? Volvulus, which volvulus? Sigmoid. Very good. All of you are correct. It is sigmoid volvulus. This is sigmoid volvulus. Very good, guys. Next, most common ectopic mucosa in Meckel's. Question of Ames. Most common ectopic mucosa in Meckel's. Meckel's gastric, very good. Manchanda, it is gastric, followed by pancreatic, followed by colonic. So, this is gastric, followed by pancreatic, followed by colonic. Latest question of need PG. Thickened and petulous IC valve with narrowed terminal ileum on barium will follow through in gastrointestinal tuberculosis. Let me see who is the genius who is going to reply this question. Thickened and petulous IC valve, narrow terminal ileum on barium will follow through. <clears throat> it is not string sign, not goose neck, not sterling sign. Sachin Kumar is the first person to reply correctly. It is umbrella sign. This is umbrella sign and it is also known as Flischner sign. So, this is umbrella sign. This is also known as Flischner sign. So, umbrella sign or Flischner sign. Next question, again a question of Ames, Ames PG, maximum risk of dyselectrolytemia, it is seen in which enterocutaneous fistula, duodenal, jejunal or ileal, tell me, maximum risk of dyselectrolytemia, duodenal, jejunal, ileal, which one, Chirag Kumar Panda, very good, yes, there is very simple logic. Proximal fistulas are having in small bowel, proximal fistulas are having maximum risk of dyselectrolytemia. So, obviously, it is duodenal followed by jejunal followed by ileal. So, what? It is duodenal. Duodenal followed by jejunal followed by ileal. Proximal fistulas are having maximum risk of dyselectrolytemia. Next question. What is the investigation of choice for diagnosis of small bowel carcinoid? Carcinoid tumor secretion of 5-hydroxytryptamine, its metabolite in urine is detected. Tell me, 
Yes, Megha Tamang, very good Megha. It is 24 hours urinary, H-I-A-A. This is 24 hours urinary, 5 H-I-A-A. And full form, 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid. In urine, we are going to estimate 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid. Very good. Now see, investigation of choice for diagnosis of Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease, investigation of choice for diagnosis. Tell me guys. Investigation of choice for diagnosis of Hirschsprung's disease. All of you know the answer. Biopsy. Shefali Manchanda, first person to reply correctly. Biopsy. <coughs> Sorry. Next, short tooth appearance on barium enema. Short tooth appearance on barium enema. It is seen in which condition? Short tooth appearance on barium enema. Yes. Let me see. Diverticulosis. Very good. It is colonic diverticulosis. This is seen in colonic diverticulosis. This is colonic diverticulosis. Next question. What is the treatment of choice for familial adenomatous polyposis? FAP. Treatment of choice. Since there is 100% risk of malignancy of carcinoma colon, carcinoma rectum. Treatment of choice. Prophylactic what? Prophylactic what? No, no. Total proctocolectomy. Very good. It is total proctocolectomy. What we perform? We perform total proctocolectomy plus ileal pouch anal anastomosis known as IPAA. Total proctocolectomy plus ileal pouch anal anastomosis IPAA. Tell me, most common extra intestinal malignancy in HNPCC, hereditary non polyposis colon cancer. Extra intestinal malignancy. Let me see who's going to reply. <coughs> extra intestinal, yes. Patil, Srimay Patil, very good. Carcinoma endometrium. This is endometrium, followed by gastric, followed by ovarian. Endometrium followed by gastric, followed by ovarian. So, how to remember? The mnemonic is ego. Mnemonic is ego. Endometrium, gastric, followed by ovarian. Next question. What is the chemotherapy regimen for colorectal cancer? <coughs> chemotherapy regimen. Very good, Medico. Yes, Medha Jan. Very good, Medha. It is Falfox 4. This is Falfox 4. You can't believe. Maximum number of questions will be from this only from the, these topics only because these are high yield topics taken from FMG, INICT, NEET PG. So chemotherapy regimen is Falfox 4. Tell me what is the most common site of ischemic colitis? Ischemic colitis. Most common site. Yes, Pankhudi Mahendru, first person to reply, splenic flexure. It is splenic flexure. Very good Pankhudi. Accordion sign on CECT. Accordion sign on CECT. It is seen in accordion sign on CCT. <coughs> it is seen in, yes, accordion pseudomembranous colitis, very good Raju, very good Raju, it is pseudomembranous colitis, there is pseudomembranous colitis, this is pseudomembranous colitis, accordion sign on CCT, okay. Next question, Tell me, most common early complication of ileostomy, just after creating ileostomy within 10, 15, 20 minutes, this complication is seen. Most common early complication of ileostomy. Early complication. Yes. Somya Acharya, first person to reply correctly. It is ischemia or necrosis. Early complication. This is what? Ischemia or necrosis. This is ischemia or necrosis. Next, most common site of fistula, perforation, carcinoma in Crohn's disease. Which bowel part? Which part of bowel? Most common site of fistula, perforation, carcinoma in Crohn's disease. Tell me guys. Yes, ileum. Everybody is correct. It is ileum. This is ileum. Do subscribe this channel because we will be having series of 101 liners of most of the subjects, it will be very, very productive session. What is the most common complication in ulcerative colitis after total proctocolectomy plus ileal pouch anal anastomosis? Ileal pouch anal anastomosis, most common complication in ulcerative colitis. Tell me, yes, very good. Shivan Sharma, first person to reply, it is pouchitis. 
first person to reply that is pouchitis next appendicular lump is managed by if you are treating acute appendicitis on palpation there is lump it is treated by which regime what is the name name of regime oshner sherin regime chirag kumar panda very good this is oshner sherin regime this is oshner sherin regime next question in appendectomy there is one muscle cutting incision what is the name of that muscle cutting incision <clears throat> muscle cutting incision tell me the name <clears throat> yes rutherford morrison very good it is rutherford morrison incision this is muscle cutting rutherford morrison incision rutherford morrison incision this is muscle cutting next most common complication of hemorrhoidectomy let me see who is going to reply this question correctly <coughs> hemorrhoidectomy most common complication <coughs> yes very good bharat pain and because of this pain the patient is having urinary retention so there is pain it is followed by urinary retention clear so most common complication of hemorrhoidectomy that is pain followed by urinary retention next preferred rectopexy in elderly and frail patient abdominal or perineal tell me in elderly and frail patient preferred rectopexy abdominal or perineal debrat biswal very good debrat biswal i hope you are from odisha very good it is perineal abdominal rectopexy abdominal rectopexy is preferred in young patients who can tolerate surgery in frail patient elderly patient we are going for perineal rectopexy next most common type of fistula in eno tell me most common type of fistula in eno what is the type there is park there is parks classification most common type of fistula in eno <clears throat> yes fistula in eno type 1 what is the name yes avantika you are correct correct avantika this this is intersphincteric this is intersphincteric which is also known as type 1 intersphincteric next question it was asked in neat pg long back most common site of fissure in ano which o'clock position tell me this is 12 o'clock this is 3 o'clock 6 o'clock 9 o'clock most common position or most common site <coughs> of fissure in ano yes murshid khan 6 o'clock it is posterior in the midline so most common site is posteriorly in the midline it is posteriorly in the midline that is 6 o'clock next resectable tumor in rectum located 6 cm from anal verge it is treated by lar or apr carcinoma rectum located 6 cm from anal verge it is treated by lar or apr yes shefali manchanda very good it is lar low anterior resection this is what low anterior resection lar if it is located at or below 5 cm from anal verge it is treated by apr next treatment of choice for carcinoma anal canal this was asked in neat pg you know that neat essence next essence is released so you can practice the previous year questions from neat essence it is already available on amazon and the book stores also so this question was asked in neat pg last year means 2022 treatment of choice what's the name of regime nigro regimen it is very good nigro regimen this is nigro regimen and what we give here we give chemo radiation this is nigro regimen we give chemo radiation very good guys next tell me what is the best time for platelet transfusion in patients of splenectomy patient who is having itp idio it, immune thrombocytopenia itp in this patient we go for platelet transfusion what is the best time <clears throat> best time after ligation of splenic artery or splenic vein <coughs> very good all of you are correct after ligation of splenic artery so it is after ligation of splenic artery splenic artery very good guys after ligation of splenic artery next what is the most common complication of splenectomy simple question tell me most common complication of splenic splenectomy yes let me see no it's not opsi no 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 it is not opsi atelectasis very good priyanka jadhav you are correct it is atelectasis so what is the correct answer this is atelectasis atelectasis means collapse of lung 
it is atelectasis. Next, now see what is the most common type of hernia in females? Tell me, most common type of hernia in females. Very good, Vikram Vicky, you are correct. Most common type of hernia in females. Tell me, guys. F femoral? No, no, it is not femoral. It is not femoral. It is indirect inguinal. Very bad. Almost all of you are marking femoral. That's very bad. It is indirect inguinal hernia. Most common type of hernia in both males and females, it is indirect inguinal hernia. Femoral hernia is more common in females. Yes, it is indirect inguinal hernia. You have to correct yourself here. It is indirect inguinal hernia. Be careful. This is not femoral. Femoral is more common in females, but most common type indirect inguinal. Next, gold standard treatment for inguinal hernia. Tell me, what's the name of that treatment? Gold standard lichenstein. Yes. Samupadhyay, A Upadhyay, that is Lycanstein repair. This is Lycanstein repair, which is the gold standard treatment. Gold standard treatment, Lycanstein repair. Now, what is the content of triangle of doom? There is medially, vas deferens, laterally, gonadal vessels. This is deep ring, this is peritoneum. What is the content? Tell me, guys. Content. Content of triangle of doom, iliac vessels, very good, it is iliac vessels, <coughs> iliac vessels. Now next question, hernia through gap in lacunar ligament, it is a variant of femoral hernia, what is the name, tell me. Hernia through gap in lacunar ligament, what is the name, name, tell me guys, what is the name, hernia through gap in lacunar ligament, name, Lagiers, very good, Mushayed Khan. Muhashid Khan, it is Lagiers hernia, very good. This is Lagiers. <coughs> Lagiers hernia. Next, hernia in which posterior wall of sac is formed by viscera. Posterior wall of sac is formed by viscera. What is the name of this hernia? Tell me, most, yes, sliding, very good. Mr. Sahu, Deepak Sahu, sliding hernia. Very good, Deepak. First person to reply correctly, sliding hernia. Next, in omphalocele, abdominal content is covered by two layers, amnion and peritoneum. Which layer is inside? Covered by which layer inside? Amnion or peritoneum? Tell me, guys. Which layer inside? It is not amnion. Dr. Ashi. Dr. Ashi, you are correct. It is peritoneum. And how to remember? Peritoneum is in. Mnemonic is pin. <coughs> how to remember? Peritoneum is in. So, mnemonic is in. Pin. Peritoneum is in. Next, treatment of choice for recurrent desmoid tumor. <coughs> recurrent desmoid tumor. What is the treatment of choice? Tell me, guys. Let me see. Let me see who is going to mark it correct. Yes, some Nishya wants to say Paisa in. Very good. Paisa should come in. It should not go out. It should come in. Very good. <clears throat> yes, surgical excision plus radiotherapy. It is both what we have. Surgical excision plus radiotherapy. If the question is asked, treatment of choice for desmoid tumor, only surgical excision. That is wide local excision. But if it is recurrent desmoid, then we go for surgery plus radiotherapy. Surgery plus radiotherapy. Next, tell me, hardest renal stone, not easily broken by ESWL, hardest renal stone. <coughs> Sana, Sephora, very good, Sana. Hardest renal stone, not easily broken by ESWL. Cysteine, very good, guys, all of you are correct. Hardest, it is cysteine. Next, lower ureteric stone should be treated by, this was asked in NEET PG. <coughs> Lower ureteric stone, it is treated by, yes, lower ureteric stone, it is treated by, yes, ureteroscopy, very good, ureteroscopy or URS, this is URS or ureteroscopy. Next, putti kidney and cement kidney, it is seen in which condition? Putti kidney, cement kidney, all of you must be knowing, it is seen in which condition? Putti kidney, tuberculosis, all of you are correct, very good. Next, pulsatile secondaries. These are pulsatile secondaries which are osteolytic and hypervascular. It is seen in which kidney malignancy? Pulsatile secondaries. It is seen in which malignancy? Tell me, guys. 
RCC and which thyroid malignancy? RCC, which thyroid malignancy? Waiting for your reply. Thyroid malignancy, which one? Which one? Nobody replied till now. Thyroid. Waiting for your reply. RCC, which thyroid? No, 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 follicular. Very good. Pulsatile secondaries are seen in RCC and follicular carcinoma thyroid. This is follicular carcinoma thyroid. Next question, most common cause of death in ADPKD, autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, most common cause of death. Tell me guys, <clears throat> most common cause of death in ADPKD. Yes, yes, cardiovascular disorders, very good. It is related to CVS, cardiovascular disorders. Next, gold standard treatment for PUJ obstruction. PUJ obstruction, gold standard treatment. Tell me guys. <clears throat> what is the name of this surgery? PUJ obstruction gold standard treatment. Name of the surgery? Yes. Name of surgery. Pyloplasty. What is the name of surgery? Tell me the complete name. Anderson Hines. Ankush Agarwal. First person to reply correctly. This is Anderson. This is Anderson Hines. Dismembered pyloplasty. Anderson Hines. Dismembered pyloplasty. Dismembered pyloplasty pyloplasty okay next question adder head or cobra head appearance on ivp it is seen in which condition all of you must be knowing every year this question is asked in need pg <coughs> uretrocele goodwill is coming with fire uretrocele very good goodwill this is uretrocele very good you are correct next question most common primary bladder stone most common primary bladder stone. Tell me. Let me see who is going to reply this question correctly. It is it is it's a different stone. Most common primary bladder stone. No, no, it's not calcium. Yes, very good. Ammonium urate. The most common primary bladder stone. This is ammonium urate. This is ammonium urate. Very good, guys. It's ammonium urate. Most common cause of bladder calcification worldwide. Worldwide, what is the most common cause of bladder calcification? Tell me, guys. Worldwide, most common cause of bladder calcification. Let me see who's going to reply correctly. Cystosomiasis, Srimai Patil. Srimai Patil, very good. Majority of times you are going to answer correctly. Srimai Patil. It is cystosomiasis. This is cystosomiasis. Clear? Next. Investigation of choice for diagnosis of bladder rupture. Bladder rupture, you inject the dye, take CT. What is the name of this investigation? Bladder rupture, investigation of choice for diagnosis. CT, yes, Dr. Biswal, very good. It is CT cystography. CT cystography. Next question, what is the most common site of carcinoma bladder? Imagine this is the bladder. This is the bladder. What is the most common site? of carcinoma bladder. It is here. Tell me which wall? Most common site. Which wall? Yes. Posterior lateral wall of trigone. It is posterior. This is posterior lateral wall of trigone. This is posterior lateral wall of trigone. <coughs> Clear? This is the most common site of carcinoma bladder. That is posterior lateral wall of trigone. Clear guys? Next, chemotherapy regimen for metastatic carcinoma bladder. Metastatic carcinoma bladder. This question was asked in NEET PG. Metastatic carcinoma bladder. What is the chemotherapy regimen? Tell me guys. Yes. MWAC. Very good Akshay. This is MWAC. This is MWAC. Now, what is the full form? This is methotrexate. This is methotrexate. Methotrexate. There is vinblastin. Vinblastin. There is adriamycin and cisplatin. Adriamycin and cisplatin. Cisplatin. So, methotrexate, vinblastin, adriamycin, cisplatin. Next, most important landmark in TURP. <coughs> What is the most important landmark? Very good. Bhanu Prakash, very good. Thank you, Deepak Sahu, very good. That is Veru Montenum. This is Veru Montenum. This is the most important distal landmark 
What is the problem? This Veru Montanum is located just proximal to external urinary sphincter. What is the most common complication of TURP? Tell me guys. Most common complication of TURP? Tell me. Yes, there is injury of internal sphincter. Because of that, what? Retrograde ejaculation. Very good. This is retrograde ejaculation. Retrograde ejaculation and it is seen in 75 percent patients. Retrograde ejaculation. Next question, easiest question, most common site of carcinoma prostate. Which zone? Most common site of carcinoma prostate. Tell me guys, which zone? Which zone? Peripheral lobe, transition zone. No transition zone. Peripheral lobe, posterior lobe. Okay, you are combining. So, it is peripheral zone or posterior lobe. So, what is the zone? Peripheral zone or posterior lobe. Peripheral zone or posterior lobe. Clear? Very good. Next, tell me, most common congenital malformation of urethra. Most common congenital malformation of urethra. Simple question. Tell me, guys. Urethra, most common congenital malformation. Tell me. No, no, it's not posterior urethral valve. Hypospadias, very good short film. It is hypospadias. This is hypospadias. Very good. Next question. Keyhole sign on prenatal ultrasound. Keyhole sign. All of you are correct. Posterior urethral valve. Keyhole sign. It is seen in patients of posterior urethral valve. Very good. Next, most common site of urethral injury, tell me, it is anterior urethra or posterior urethra? Obviously, posterior. In posterior, which urethra? Membranous or prostatic? Membranous, all of you are correct. It is membranous urethra. This is membranous urethra. And in membranous urethra, which junction? It is bulbomembranous followed by prostatomembranous. Junction is bulbomembranous followed by prostatomembranous. Next question. This is very, very important. Asked in need PG two to three times. Circumcision, it is sufficient for carcinoma penis located at. Tell me, guys. Circumcision, sufficient for carcinoma penis located at. Prepuce, very good. Bhanu Prakash, very good. Bhanu located at prepuce. If malignancy is located at prepuce, we go for circumcision that is sufficient. Next, very important question. Investigation of choice for non-palpable undescended testes. Non-palpable undescended testes. Tell me. Non-palpable undescended testes. Not MRI. Not MRI. <clears throat> laparoscopy. Very good, Dr. Ashi. It is diagnostic laparoscopy. So, this is what? Diagnostic laparoscopy. Diagnostic laparoscopy. Next, surgical exploration in testicular torsion should be done within. We have to perform orchidopexy within how many hours? You know that it's an emergency. Within, not immediately, within, within how many hours? Not six hours, not six. Six, no, no, six is for priapism. It is four hours. You have to remember, this is four hours. It should be done within four hours. Next, in varicocele, Location of pampiniform plexus of veins in relation to testis. Where is the pampiniform plexus of veins in relation to testis? Anterior or posterior? Below or above? Anterior or posterior? Below or above? Posterior and above, Dharmesh Maheshwari. Very good, Dharmesh. You are also replying correctly for the most of the questions. Dharmesh, very good. It is posterior and above testis. Posterior and above testis. Very good, Dharmesh. Next, most common bilateral testicular tumor. Tell me, most common bilateral testicular tumor. <clears throat> Let me see who is going to reply correctly. It is not seminoma. Seminoma is primary tumor which is most common bilateral. It is not seminoma. No, no, no. Most common bilateral. Seminoma is most common primary bilateral. Lymphoma, Mahesh, Babu, very good Mahesh. You are also replying most of the questions correctly. It is lymphoma. This is what? Lymphoma. It is lymphoma. Very good. Next, most common symptom of peripheral arterial occlusion. Whenever there is peripheral arterial occlusion, what is the most common symptom? It is characterized by 5P, pain, pallor, 
paralysis, paresthesia, pulselessness. <coughs> Tell me, most common symptom? <coughs> no, it is not claudication. Pain, it is pain that is most common. Yes, Lerich syndrome, frequently asked in AIMS and need PG. It is due to obstruction of which particular vessel? Where should be obstruction? In Lerich syndrome. Tell me. Aorto iliac, very good. Shefali Manchanda, first person to reply. Shefali, you are replying correctly most of the times. Very good, Shefali. It is aorto iliac bifurcation. This is aorto iliac bifurcation. Aorto iliac bifurcation. Next, most common involved vessel in Burgess disease. Obviously, medium sized and small vessels. What is the mnemonic? TPR. TPR. So, the vessels are TBL, plantar, radial. TBL, plantar and radial. These are TBL, plantar and radial. Very good. It is TBL, plantar, radial. Most common cause of acquired AV fistula. What is the most common cause of acquired AV fistula? Tell me guys, acquired AV fistula. Most common cause of acquired AV fistula. Yes. Trauma, what kind of trauma? Very good. Trauma, not dialysis. It is not dialysis. Trauma, what kind of trauma? It is penetrating trauma. Very good guys. This is penetrating trauma. This is penetrating trauma. Penetrating trauma. Next question which is asked almost every year in each and every exam. Cut off diameter for surgery in abdominal aortic aneurysm. Abdominal aortic aneurysm, what is the cut off diameter? Tell me guys. Cut off diameter, very good Dr. Ashi. Most of the times Dr. Ashi, you are replying correctly. Very good. Your preparation is up to the mark. It is more than equal to 5.5 centimeter. Guys, these are the some days, last 10, 10 days approximately. What you have to do? You have to increase your speed. You have to increase the duration of revision. Not on the last day, but these nine days. Yes, increase the number of study, number of hours for studies. Yes, mainly focus on the revision. Most common site of subclavian artery stenosis. Most common site of subclavian artery stenosis. Tell me guys, most common site. Most common site of subclavian artery stenosis. Yes, it is left subclavian artery. Which part? First part. It is first part of left subclavian artery. First part of left subclavian artery. Left subclavian artery. Next, what is the best graft for CABG? Coronary artery bypass grafting. Best graft. Best graft for CABG. Coronary artery bypass grafting. Best graft. Not syphilis when Lima. Very good. Lima. This is left internal mammary artery. Somebody is asking, I should write full form. Okay. Left internal mammary artery. This is left internal mammary artery. Very good guys. Left internal mammary artery. And what is most commonly used graft? That is long saphenous vein. Most commonly used graft. Long saphenous vein and best graft lima. Next, what is the most common site of DVT? Tell me guys. Most common site of DVT. <coughs> Waiting for your reply. DVT most common site. Yes. Calf, very good. Shime Patil, Shime, your preparation is also up to the mark. Most of the times you are replying correctly. Most common site of DVT, this is calf or solial vein. It is calf or solial vein. Next, what is the gold standard treatment for varicose vein? This question was asked this year in FMG 2023, missed in January paper. Gold standard treatment for varicose vein. Let me see who is going to reply. Not sclerotherapy. Very good. It is endothermal ablation. What is this? Very good guys. This is endothermal ablation. So, this is endothermal ablation. We have endovenous laser ablation, radio frequency ablation, endothermal ablation. Next, familial version of congenital lymphedema is known as, familial version of congenital lymphedema is known as, tell me, familial version of congenital lymphedema, it is known as, yes, Milroy's, Shivangi, Shuangi Singh, very good Shuangi, it is Milroy's disease. This is Milroy's disease. <coughs> this is Milroy's disease. Very good. Now tell me, what is the most common posterior mediastinal mass? Mediastinal mass, most common posterior mediastinal mass. 
frequently asked question. Pilux Max, very good Pilot Max. Thank you very much for the appreciation. Thank you very much. It is not thymoma. Thymoma is located in anterior mediastinum, posterior mediastinum. Yes, neurogenic tumor. Very good. It is neurogenic tumor. In anterior mediastinum, it is thymoma. In middle mediastinum, it is cyst, which cyst pericardial cyst. Next, this question was asked many times in exam. See, presence of fat globules in sputum, urine after road traffic accident leading to long bone fractures. What is the cause? <clears throat> what is the cause of fat globules in sputum, in urine? There is multiple long bone fracture. Which embolism? Yes, Malay Patel, very good Malay, that is fat embolism, very good, that is fat embolism, very good, it is fat embolism. X-ray PA view showing flat surface of coin, where is the location of coin? On PA view, you can see the flat surface of coin, where is the coin? <coughs> it is in the esophagus or it is in the trachea, this question will be asked in neat PG. Coin, image, esophagus majority of you are correct. It is esophagus. If it is in trachea, you can see the edge of coin on PA view. Next, what is the most common symptom of carcinoma lung? Most common symptom of carcinoma lung. Tell me. Carcinoma lung, most common symptom. Tell me, guys. Carcinoma lung, most common symptom. Cough. Very good. It is cough. All of you are correct. Tulsi Subramanian. Very good. It is cough. Clear? Next. Degree of burn with involvement of subcutaneous fat. What is the degree? In which degree burn? First degree, second degree, third degree, fourth degree. Degree of burn with involvement of subcutaneous fat. <coughs> which degree? First, third, lovely goldie. Very, very good, lovely. It's lovely performance. What? It is third degree. In third degree, there is involvement of subcutaneous fat. In fourth degree, there is involvement of underlying structures like muscle or bone or brain. Next, minimum urine output after adequate tissue perfusion in adults. What should be the urine output in ml per minute? Minimum urine output after adequate tissue perfusion in adults. 1 ml, very good Nishay, it is 1 ml per minute. It is 1 ml per minute and how much in children? In children, it should be 0 0.5 to 1 ml per minute. In children, it should be 0 0.5 to 1 ml per minute. Okay. Next, what is the skin malignancy characterized by A, B, C, D, E? It is a question of AIMS and INICT. A, B, C, D, E, which malignancy? Malignant Shefali, very good Shefali. It is malignant melanoma. This is malignant melanoma. And what is A, B, C, D, E? <clears throat> you know A, B, C, D, E? A means asymmetry, B means border irregularity, C means color variation, D change of diameter more than 6 mm, E evolution in shape, size or color. A, B, C, D, E. What is the most common site of keloid? Sternum. Already you people are replying very good. You people are very, very fast. Your preparation is up to the mark. Sternum. Next, very important. There will be one question related to pressure sore or pressure ulcer. Stage of pressure ulcer with full thickness skin loss extending into subcutaneous tissue stage 1 2 3 4 full thickness skin loss 2 3 4 which one it is not 4 it is stage 3 in stage 4 you can see muscle and bone now negative pressure used in vacuum assisted closure you people are replying very very fast very good minus 125 very good negative pressure applied it is minus 125 mmhg in negative pressure wound therapy. Very good guys. Next, SDH, it is caused by injury of which veins? Subdural hematoma, it is caused by injury of which veins? <coughs> which veins? Yes. SDH, no, no, it is not middle meningeal artery. Yes, Manchanda, that is cortical veins. It is cortical veins or bridging veins. So what? This is cortical veins or bridging veins. Very good. This is cortical veins or bridging veins. Next, worst headache of life. Patient complains of worst headache of life. What is the diagnosis? Subarachnoid hemorrhage. Very good. Worst headache of life. Next, investigation of choice. Very good. Thunderclap had a headache. Very good. All of you are correct. 
Investigation of choice for diagnosis of diffuse axonal injuries. Diffuse axonal injuries. Investigation of choice. CT is normal. It is MRI. All of you are correct. Very good. MRI. Next, most common type of astrocytoma in children. <clears throat> most common type of astrocytoma in children. Tell me guys. Astrocytoma in children. Most common type. Pilocytic. Very good. You are correct. It is pilocytic. This is pilocytic astrocytoma, dural tail sign and sunray spicules. Dural tail sign, sunray spicules, it is seen in which malignancy? Dural tail sign, sunray spicules, meningioma, world of doctors, very good. It is seen in meningioma. <coughs> this is seen in meningioma, very good guys. Most common brain tumor, easiest question, let me see who is going to reply. Most common brain tumor, easiest question. <coughs> Metastasis, yes, all of you are correct. It is metastasis, very good guys. It is metastasis, all of you are correct. This is what? Metastasis, all of you are correct. This is metastasis, very good guys. It is metastasis, all of you are correct. Clear? Next, central necrosis with ring-like enhancement. This question was asked in Jipmer long back and it was repeated in many, many exams. Central necrosis, very good. Glioblastoma multiform, not neurocystis or causes, no, it is glioblastoma multiform. This is glioblastoma multiform. Glioblastoma multiform, it is having worse prognosis in astrocytomas. <clears throat> Next, most common flap used for reconstruction of head and neck defect. For head and neck defect, what is the most common flap used? Tell me guys. Most common flap used for reconstruction of head and neck defects. Yes, tell me. PMMC flap, very good. Pectoralis major myocutaneous flap. This is PMMC flap, full form. It is pectoralis major myocutaneous flap. Next question. You know if a patient is having carcinoma lip, we go for excision of this carcinoma lip and we are using a flap from upper lip. This is cross lip flap. What is the name of this flap? Known as Abbe Eastlander's flap. It is based on which artery? Abbe Eastlander's flap. It is based on which artery? Which artery? Artery, artery. Superior labial, Tripathi G. Very good Tripathi G. Superior labial artery. This is superior labial artery. It is based on superior labial artery. Most common salivary gland tumor, easiest question, obviously very good, you are correct, pleomorphic adenoma. This is what, pleomorphic adenoma, very good guys, pleomorphic adenoma. Next question, what is the most common site of salivary gland stone? Which gland, most common site of salivary gland, it is not parotid, it is not parotid, most common site of salivary gland stone, silolithiasis, submandibular, Dr. Ashi, you are correct. It is submandibular gland. This is submandibular. Submandibular gland. Very good. Ranula. It is relation to, it is located in the floor of mouth in relation to which salivary gland? Ranula. Yes. Which salivary gland? Sublingual. Very good. Medha. Medha, you are correct. It is sublingual. Which salivary gland? It is sublingual gland. Very good. Now, lyre sign on angiography. Lyre sign. Lyre is a musical instrument not being played in India. Lyre sign on angiography. It is seen in which tumor? Angiography. Carotid body tumor. Lakshmi Priya. Very good, Lakshmi. It is seen in chemodectoma, also known as carotid body tumor. Carotid body tumor. Next question. Most common site of cystic hygroma. There is a swelling here. Cystic hygroma, usually congenital. Most common site. <coughs> cystic hygroma. Posterior triangle. Subraman, Simra, Smaran Maturi. It is posterior triangle of neck. Very good. This is posterior triangle of neck. So, this is what? Posterior triangle. Posterior triangle. Very good. What is the most commonly injured nerve in sentinel lymph node biopsy for breast cancer? Sentinel lymph node biopsy is done most commonly injured nerve. Tell me guys, most commonly injured nerve, most commonly injured nerve, let me see who is going to reply. Suo Bhattacharya, Suo, very good, you are correct. It is intercostobrachial nerve. 
what is this this is intercostobrachial nerve <coughs> this is intercostobrachial nerve next most common type of soft tissue sarcoma what is the most common type of soft tissue sarcoma easiest question <coughs> tell me it was asked in need pg long back most common type of soft tissue sarcoma avantika you are correct it is liposarcoma liposarcoma followed by leiomyosarcoma so this is liposarcoma followed by leo myo sarcoma leo myo sarcoma next what is the first line agent for dfsp dfsp is dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans it's a sarcoma dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans we have to take 2 to 4 cm margin around the tumor but we give one chemotherapy agent let me see tripathi very good tripathi very good tripathi you are a genius yes it is imatinib very good tripathi it is imatinib this is what imatinib okay type of graft in identical twins identical twins if you are giving graft to identical twins what is the name of this graft yes anubha yadav you are correct it is isograft it is isograft now you tell me if mother is giving graft to the son or daughter mother says to the son or daughter allograft mother says that allo allograft so if we are giving or if we are taking the graft from same species from mother to son what is this this is allograft allograft very good allograft now most common indication of pediatric liver transplantation tell me <clears throat> pediatric liver transplantation most common indication yes easy question biliary atresia very good jitu biliary atresia this is biliary atresia biliary atresia very good next best location of this question is asked every year best location for needle insertion in tension pneumothorax in adults in adults best location for needle insertion in tension pneumothorax fifth pankhudi mahendru very good fifth intercostal space it is fifth intercostal space in mid axillary in anterior axillary line in anterior axillary line and it's the same place where we insert the chest tube if patient is a child we insert the needle in second intercostal space in mid clavicular line in adults fifth intercostal space in anterior axillary line next in trauma patients packed cell plasma platelets are given in which ratio packed cell plasma platelets are given in which ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 all of you are correct guys very good frequently asked question 1 is to 1 is to 1 next best predictor of outcome in glasgow coma scale gcs what is the best predictor of outcome in gcs glasgow coma scale yes priyanka singh very good motor response what is the correct answer it is motor response <clears throat> very good guys this is motor response next minimum number of people required for log roll log roll it is secondary survey in which we are going to examine the back log roll four all of you are correct very good guys it is four ideal number of people five minimum number four next first investigation done in blunt trauma abdomen patient doesn't matter whether the patient is stable or unstable first investigation done fast world of glam doctors very good it is focused assessment with sonography for trauma this is fast now trauma triad of death what are the components there is hypothermia <coughs> it is characterized by hypothermia plus coagulopathy hypothermia plus coagulopathy plus metabolic acidosis this is what metabolic acidosis now you tell me guys out of these three what is the most common cause of death in trauma hypothermia coagulopathy metabolic acidosis out of these three which one is the com most common cause of death yes rahil patil yes preeti leti all of you are correct it is it is this coagulopathy coagulopathy this is the most common cause of death out of these three next investigation of choice for diagnosis of tension pneumothorax and flail chest tell me investigation of choice for diagnosis of tension pneumothorax and flail chest it is chest x-ray or ct tell me guys chest x-ray or ct yes 
Majority of you are marking chest X-ray or CT. Yes, Anshu, very good. Anshu wants to mark clinical diagnosis. <coughs> and actually speaking, it's clinical diagnosis. But you must be thinking that, sir, you didn't give the option. Let me tell you, in the life, you are going to get lots of things which were not there in the options. In future, if you achieve something, you will be having plenty of options. Clear? So, you have to remember, it is clinical diagnosis. Here, you do the mistake in exam for tension pneumothorax and for flail chest diagnosis is clinical. On the basis of on the basis of suspicion, we insert a needle in fifth intercostal space in adults, second intercostal space in children. Next, what is the needle used for creating pneumoperitoneum? This was an image based question in AIMS, INICT. Name of needle. Needle used for creating pneumoperitoneum. Viris, very good, Chirag Kumar Panda. It is Viris needle. This is Viris needle. Okay, next. What is the most commonly performed bariatric surgery worldwide? Most commonly performed bariatric surgery worldwide. <coughs> Sorry, tell me. <coughs> most commonly performed bariatric surgery worldwide. Tell me guys. Bariatric surgery, it is not sleeve gastrectomy because sleeve gastrectomy is not an isolated procedure. It is combined with others. If you see the Harrison, it is Rue NY GB. Rue NY gastric bypass. Okay, RU and Y gastric bypass. Next, what is the suture used for subcuticular suturing? This was the question asked in AIMS. Subcuticular suturing, yes, subcuticular suturing. It is monocryl. Very good. World of glam doctors. It is monocryl. And what is the other name of monocryl? It is also known as polyglycaprone. This is also known as polyglycaprone. What is the suture used for vascular anastomosis? Another question which was asked in need PG many times. Vascular anastomosis, vascular proline, Muhammad Suleiman, very good Muhammad Suleiman, it is proline. This is proline. Very good. What is the suture length to wound length ratio? This is known as Jenkins rule. It's a question of aims. Suture length to wound length ratio. What should be the ratio? Suture length to wound length, four times Chirag Kumar Panda, it is 4 is to 1. And what is the name of this rule? This is Jenkins rule. Name of this rule, this is Jenkins rule. Clear? Next, most common hospital acquired infection. What is the most common hospital acquired infection definition? Hospital acquired infection means seen after admission, 48 hours of admission. Yes, nosocomial, yes, yes. What is UTI? Very good, UTI. Very good. It is UTI and you know what is the organism responsible? E. coli. What is the best time to give prophylactic antibiotics? Prophylactic antibiotics are given during surgery. Best time. <clears throat> best time to give prophylactic antibiotic. Yes. Majority of you are correct. Four hours? No, no, no. No, no, no. At the time of induction. At the time of induction, when you are inducing the patient or one hour before surgery. One hour before surgery. At the time of induction or one hour before surgery. Clear? Next, preferred vein for total parental nutrition. For total parental nutrition, what is the preferred vein? <coughs> both, is, both are correct. Induction or one hour before surgery. Both are correct. MD medicine, not 30 minutes, 1 hour. Preferred vein for total parental nutrition, subclavian, very good. It is subclavian vein. This is subclavian followed by, followed by internal jugular vein, followed by femoral vein. So, subclavian followed by internal jugular followed by femoral vein. Next, most common complication of central venous catheterization you have seen in the ward. If you are going to insert the central line, what is the most common complication? Most common complication, sepsis, very good, Surya Raj, it is catheter related sepsis. Thank you, Rahul Jha, it is catheter related sepsis, catheter related sepsis, catheter related sepsis, okay. How much is the amount of blood loss in class 2 hemorrhagic shock? Rahul Jha, thank you, thank you very much, Rahul Jha, for all your love. How much is the blood loss in class 2? Class 2, how much? Yes. All of you are correct. It is 15 to 30 percent. In class 1, 
up to 15 percent class 3 30 to 40 and class 4 more than 40 percent so class 2 15 to 30 percent type of shock this question is asked frequently characterized by hypotension and bradycardia in majority of shock there is hypotension but there is tachycardia here there is loss of sympathetic tone leading to bradycardia which one yes tulsi very good tulsi all of you are correct it is neurogenic shock which shock this is neurogenic shock neurogenic shock okay what is the instrument used for harvesting skin graft? What is the name of that knife? Instrument used for harvesting skin graft. Tell me guys. Instrument used for harvesting skin graft. Humbi knife. Monica Banerjee. Very good Monica. It is Humbi's knife. Humbi knife. Humbi knife. Cannula and Foley's catheter. Color coding is very important. So what is the color of 20 ga gaze IV cannula? 20 gaze IV cannula. What's the color? Yes. 20 gauge is pink, 18 is green, so it is pink, pink and most commonly used Foley's catheter in males, you have used Foley's catheter in wards, most commonly used Foley's catheter in males, tell me guys, yes, most commonly used, 16 French, in males it is 16 French, what is the color of 16, 16 French it is orange, orange and in females, 14 French. What is the color? This is green. <coughs> so most commonly used Foley's catheter in males 16 French that is orange and in females it is 14 French that is green. Clear? So this was these were 100 plus important one liner questions. Thank you guys for your participation. This is a beautiful audience. More than 1000 people were live in this session. Thank you very, very much. Your preparation is up to the mark for the last 10 days. Just put your 100%. I should say 200% into your preparation and definitely you are going to crack this exam with flying colors. All the best guys, all the best. Do subscribe this channel because upcoming sessions with the best faculties is going to amazing. Best of luck for the exam.